going on everyone it's Alex here from Alex Physio so today I'm going to be doing a quick demo on how to get out of a chair properly a couple of biomechanical principles we need to be aware of when we're getting out of a chair first of all in order to get out of a chair you need to lean your nose over your toes in order to get leverage and to maximize basically your biomechanics so that you can stand up because if you think about every time you stand up out of a chair, you can't get out of a chair while maintaining upright position in your upper body and torso. You have to lean forward in order to get your hips in extension and your knees in extension in order to be able to stand upright. So the first one is leaning forward. The second one is trying to scoot your bum as close to the edge of the chair as possible because you, now you have less distance that you need to travel in order to stand up. So it makes the movement of doing a sit to stand much easier. So if I scoot my bum as close as possible to the end of the chair, then when I lean forward and stand, it's a lot easier to do that versus if I'm all the way in the back of the chair and I'm standing up. Now, of course, as a physiotherapist, we would challenge you and try to get you to become proficient standing up from a sitting position with your bum all the way back just to build up some of the strength. So it's not to say that it's a bad thing, just if you want to optimize your biomechanics and make it easier by scooting your bum to the edge of the chair, that makes it easier. The other thing is you can use your hands to push down into your thighs, or if you have a, a chair with armrests, you can use that too to help generate a little bit of momentum and a bit of support to be able to, again, perform that stand easier. So if I push down into my thighs, I'm able to generate a bit more support using my arms so it becomes more of a full body movement versus just using my lower body. And then the other thing you wanna be mindful of if you're still struggling with getting out of a chair is to try to use some momentum. So by swinging forward and back a few times, you're generating some of that momentum to make it easier to stand by having some of that momentum. So those muscles are, are stretching, shortening, stretching, shortening. You're using the elasticity in the muscles and the tendons to be able to propel you into a standing position. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to use a pillow. So by adding a pillow or a surface that elevates the height of the chair, we make it easier to get out of the chair because as the height increases, then your, your muscles have less work that they need to do in order to perform the stand because you're more at a mechanical advantage and biomechanically in order to do the stand. So you want to find something like a pillow or a textbook, something that is has a few inches or again, just depending on the height will affect how how easy it's going to be to be on the chair, but you don't want to make it too high because you don't want to lean forward or slide forward. So same principles, you're going to lean forward, nose over toes, get to the edge of the chair, and then we're just going to do a stand. Now an aside, to get out of a chair, if you have an injury or if you have pain, if you have knee pain, uh, ankle pain, hip pain, you want to try to do a staggered stand. So what that means is the leg that's unaffected, you want it behind the leg that's in front of you because now we're changing where the, the load is relatively. So when the leg is back, this leg is going to be the one that takes most of the load and this one is just more so for support. And then obviously if you're not able to put any weight through the leg, if you have an injury, if you have crutches, then that leg will be off the ground completely. But you want to just have it so that it's resting but primarily the work is on the leg that's closer to the chair. So same principles, scoot your arm forward, lean forward, split stance position, and stand up. It's almost like a partial single leg squat that you're doing because a lot of the load is on that pit side. So those are some of the ways to make a sit to stand movement easier. We went over getting as close to the edge of the chair as possible. We went over using some momentum. We went over using our hands for support. Also, we went over nose, over toes so that we can lean forward a bit before we stand. Those four basic principles will allow your sit to stand movement to be more effortless, easier, and more efficient, especially when we have to do this movement numerous times, getting out of a chair, getting out of our car, getting out of a, off the toilet seat. It's a super fundamental movement pattern to do, but we need to understand how we do this movement in order to maximize the benefits and the efficiency of performing it in our day-to-day -day lives. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you found value, please consider subscribing and let me know if this has helped you in your sit to stand movements or if sit to stands are something that you struggle with. And until then, we'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.